Hey there everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a dynamic calendar in Excel. Calendars can be really useful visual tools for time management. Let's see how we can create a dynamic calendar in Excel. To get the dynamic calendar, the user needs to input the year and the month. So let's just fill those cells first where the cell B3 is the label year, the cell C3 is going to be the user input area. So let's keep it as 2021 and cell C4 is the month. So let's keep it as July. We can use the date formula to get the first day of the month. So to represent, I'm just going to put in cell E3 is equal to date of the year, which is cell C3, the month, cell C4 and the day it's going to be first as the first day of the month. So now if you change it to cell let's say 2022 the date should automatically update in E3. Let me change it back to 2021. Now let's go to cell B6 to H6 and I'm just going to merge it. Here I'm going to represent the month. So it's going to be equal to text of the value instead of using cell e3 i'm going to put in the formula here date of cell c3 the month is c4 and day is 1 and this date we want to represent as the full month so that you can do by putting four m's and to that i'm going to join the year which is cell C4. Let's just increase the size. Let's pick 24. Okay. Just going to some coloring and bold. So now if we enter let's say 9, it's going to be September, 10, October, and so on and so forth. So now let's put in in the columns the day of the week. So I'm going to start with Sunday, Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And let me just do a center line. Keep them both. Okay. Now every month can be covered within six weeks of data. So let's take six rows. So it's going to be from row 8 to row 13. And I'm going to format the row height to let's say 40. And increase it a little more to get a squarish feel. Okay, that seems decent. So let me just put a border on this. Okay, now we've got the frame of a calendar, and all we need to do is fill in the dates. The easiest way to fill in the calendar is to find the first Sunday of the first week. This can be done using weekdays in a formula. I have a detailed tutorial on how to find the first day of the week and that is shown in the card right here. So to find the Sunday of the first week, all we need to do is put in the formula equal to, let's calculate the date again using the date function where the year is going to be in cell C3, month in cell C4 and day going to be 1. To that we subtract the weekday of again the date. So date of C3, comma C4, comma 1 and the return type is going to be 1 because we want to calculate the first Sunday and to this we add 1. There. So the Sunday in the first week of July is going to be 27th June. Once we've got the first Sunday, it is very simple to generate a full calendar. So the next column which is cell C8 which represents the Monday is going to be the Sunday's date plus 1. And we can copy this formula all over to the first week of Saturday. Now. 
the next stroke which is row 9 the second week is going to be the last saturday plus 1 and the subsequent days is going to be sunday plus 1 monday plus 1 so all we need to do is copy and paste the data and now this row which is the second row can be just copied all the way to the next four rows. There it is, the calendar is generated where we calculate the first Sunday using the date and then the next phase is basically adding one more date of the previous date. To make it more understandable, we can select the complete calendar and then format cells to a custom format of DD and say OK. That's it. And then you can go to top alignment. And now we can color the Saturdays and Sundays as let's say red. Let me just hold the data. It still may look a little confusing as you have the previous month and next month's data. We can grey out the dates not belonging to this month by comparing the month of the date to the month in cell C4. So for that let me select the complete dates and go to conditional formatting and we are going to put a new rule and let's go to class A and use a formula and put in the formula equal to month of cell B8. Ensure that it's not fixed with dollars, so you need to remove the dollar symbol. The month of this is not equal to cell C4. C4 needs to be fixed because all the other cells of the calendar are going to refer to this month. If both are not equal, we can have a customized format of the font having a color, let's say, we pick. That now we have a calendar where the other dates not belonging to this month are grayed out. So now if the month is going to be changed here, let's say to third, you have the March 2021 calendar. And let's say we change the year to 2015, you get a calendar for March 2015. Calendars are really useful tools and can be easily created in Excel. I hope that this tutorial was of use to you. If you liked it, please subscribe to my channel. Till next time, ciao.